Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, in today's YouTube video, I'm showing you guys how to get a custom IP address for your Minecraft server. For example, my Minecraft server has an IP address, which is play.bingomc.tk, and you can get your own custom IP address, like Hypixel.net or Mineplex.com or anything like that, completely for free. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in this video. And uh, this will be a really good look for your server when you're getting your friends and your plays to connect to your server. Rather than connecting with that default IP address and default port, you'll be connecting with the play.bingomc.tk or whatever your server IP address is. And that's a really good look for your server because it makes it really easy to remember how to connect to your server. And it also just makes it so much more professional, guys. So let's get straight into the video and show you guys how it's done. Today's this video is sponsored by Singoda. Singoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Singoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Singoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developer you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? The link to the Singoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okay, guys, so starting off the tutorial on how you guys are going to be getting your own custom IP address for completely free on your Minecraft server, you're going to need to sign up for an account on two websites. You're going to need to sign up for an account on freenom.com, which is where you're going to be getting the IP address from, and you're going to be signing up to Cloudfare, which is where you're going to be managing your IP address. And here you can see I've already got one active IP address, which is my bingomc.tk that I currently use in the video. But I'm, we're going to go through exactly from start to finish how you can add a new one to your so once you hit the free nom website you're going to want to go up to services and you're going to want to press register domain and that'll bring you to this nice little page any second now where you can go and you can check for domains so i actually want to if i disconnect from my server so we have my ip address and port that i can connect to and this is what you can already connect to before you started this video you can only connect with these numbers and no one wants to connect with that so we're going to go through the steps of connecting with youtubevideo.tk and then the port then we're going to show you how to remove the port and add play.youtubevideo.tk and then we're going to show you guys how to just do youtubevideo.tk. So all of the different ways to connect instead of the port. So we're going to have to look for YouTube video. Hopefully this is available. I didn't actually check before the video if this is available and it's not available. Great. So if you've got this X here, that means it's not available. So we're going to do free nom video. We'll see if that's available. Check availability. And there you go. Now you can press get it now. And then you can add that to your checkout. Okay, so that now that you've added that to your cart, you're going to press the checkout button. And what this is going to do is you're checking out for your domain now. So you can actually go in here and ch check the period of time. You can get all the way, uh, you can select all the different months and you can get all the way up to 12 months for completely free. So we're going to select the 12 month option. What actually happens is after 12 months, you won't own the IP address anymore. But if you want to then get it again after the 12 months, you just go through this process of getting and essentially purchasing the IP address, but for free. So you go through getting the IP address again for three after 12 months. So don't worry, after 12 months, you won't have to pay. You just need to renew it essentially. So what you do next is you press use DNS. And now you have two different things here. You've got your freenom.tk. You've got your www.freenom.tk. So what's really cool is you can have a website and a Minecraft server linked to it. So you can have the Minecraft server linked to freenomvideo.tk and a website linked to www. W.tk. Each little prefix here, www.store. All of these different prefixes can actually be linked to different sites. So if we do, I was like messing around a few months ago on making a website with a website builder. So this isn't like anything important. If we go to www.bingomc.tk and we actually go ahead and go here, you see, I was actually trying to start Fortnite news article thing. Uh, it didn't actually work out but see um i have that link to www.bingomc.tk then i also have my bycraft store linked to store.bingomc.tk as you can see it heads to my store and then i also have my minecraft server linked to play.bingomc.tk so you can actually link all sorts of different things to the same ip address with different prefixes so that's pretty cool 
So um, for the purpose of this video, I'm not setting up a website, so I'm just going to do the same IP address for both. But what you'll want to do is come over to your server host. I'm using Revive Node to host my Minecraft server, and I highly suggest using Revive Node if you're just starting out because they have plans starting at $1 per gigabyte, and that's incredibly cheap, guys. So go check out Revive Node. You can use code glitch for 15% off your purchase as well. That's really cheap, guys. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is heading over and getting this IP address that we have here. So this is the IP address, dot, 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 the port. We're not going to get the port. We're just going to get the IP address. We're going to come over here and we're going to paste in. And I'm going to paste it into the host name as well um, because I actually, right now, I don't want to link a website. So we're just going to use that. So now you're going to press continue. And then you'll see uh, you're going domain registration for free gnome nom.tk zero dollars subtotal zero dollars total due today zero dollars then you go click i have agreed to the terms and conditions and you click complete order now you see your order number is uh blah 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 you'll get an email with your order number and stuff and this is uh whenever you open a support ticket you're gonna have to give this order number um and quote your order number so i just suggest keeping this order number somewhere just in case you ever have any issues but you're gonna click here to go to your client area and it'll say beautiful hello kevin now you go services and you go over to my domains and as you can see I've got bingomc.tk and freenomvideo.tk. Go and press manage domain. And what that's going to do is bring you over to the domain area. Um, next, you're going to want to come over to my name servers and you're going to want to press use custom name servers. Um, this is where you do the next step here. So what you're going to do here is you're going to press add site and you're going to add the site that you just done. So I'm going to do free freenomvideo.tk. And if we click add site... It might tell me that the, this doesn't exist yet. You might have to wait five minutes, but because I have been talking a bit, it might come through. Okay, as you can see, it's actually failed to look up freenomvideo.tk, and that is probably because the freenomvideo.tk isn't registered yet. The registration times on freenom can take anywhere between no time at all to about 10 minutes. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a wait, and we'll be back when I actually get this to work. So if this isn't working, just wait 5-10 minutes, click add site again, and it should work. Okay, guys, so I just waited about three minutes there. So probably from the time that I registered the domain, it probably has been five minutes and it's actually gone through. Now there's different plans that you can do that have different um, features. Cloudflare actually has protection features, anti-DDoS features. But if you just want to get through with this video, we're going to actually press the free $0 a month plan. We're going to press confirm plan. And now it's going to scan our existing DNS records and it should come up with the two that we put in, the www and just the normal one without the www. Okay, now you can see that we've come to this page and we've got the www um, and we've got the freenomvideo.tk. So we're going to actually press this on DNS only, uh, which is what we want for our Minecraft server. And then you're going to press continue. You want to continue with the default method and you're actually going to have to go and log in and you're going to have to press for name server one. You're going to have to put this in here. So this is where we went before. Remember, management tools, name servers. You're going to use custom name server, name server one, paste that in. Name server two, paste that in. Easy peasy, change name servers, you're donezos. Look at that, easy as pie, we've just changed that. Wasn't a difficult thing. And now we're gonna press done, check my name servers, and it's gonna press set up security. Yeah, just press done as it is. Um, you shouldn't have to change anything there. And uh, this process could actually take a while, depending on how stuff's going, so... Okay, guys, not too long later, only about really a few minutes later, we've gotten an email from Freenom. And now this step I was actually a bit worried about because I don't want to spend too long recording this video. And this step can actually take up to 24 hours. But I was really happy. The email came through in a matter of minutes and our site has been put through. The name service has been changed and everything's been approved. So now that that's happened, we can actually press DNS. And what this is going to do is we've got our A records here and they're all they're moving to our, you can see our IP address. And what we can actually do is if we p press refresh, the freenomvideo.tk, see, freenomvideo.tk with the port should now be working. And as you can see, we can now connect with freenomvideo.tk and the port. But you don't want your 
port to be there. So now you can connect with freenomvideo.tk, but your port's still there. So we're going to remove that port here by doing some SRV records. We're going to add an SRV record and we're going to press the name to be whatever's going to come up in front. So we want to connect with the next one is going to be play.youtube.tk. We want to connect with play.youtube.tk. So we're going to do play as our name. Our name service is going to be Minecraft protocol. Keep that at TCP, TTL, auto um, for this priority zero, wait zero, then your port. You're going to come over to your hosting, which I use revive node hosting code glitch for 15% off. Uh, links also in the description, by the way. Um, here's our port. We paste the port in here. And then for our target, we want to put whatever this A type is, which is obviously our free nom dot video dot TK. And now if we hit save, we should be able to connect to our Minecraft server with play.freenom. Okay, not if I don't spell it right. <laughs> play.freenomvideo.tk. Okay, so now if we hit the refresh button inside of Minecraft, this might not work the first shot because it might take a few minutes to tick in, but it should work with play.freenomvideo.tk. Boom! Okay, we've got that up and working. Now the last one we want to do is freenomvideo.tk. Now you can actually make all sorts of different ones like mc.freenomvideo.tk, um, poop dot freenom video dot tk yeet dot freenom video dot tk and all you do there is just make a new srv record do the same thing and change the play to whatever mc yeet poop whatever um so we're going to add another srv record and this will be just for connecting with three non freenom video dot tk um, because right now we can connect to freenomvideo.tk, but it has the port on the end so we're going to remove that port just by making another srv record and for the name we're going to press at and at is essentially it's a root. So that means that you can connect with nothing in front of it. And then we're going to put Minecraft as our service. Once again, all the same here. Zero, zero. Our port was 110 and our target will still be free nom video free nom video dot TK. And now if we hit save. We should be able to connect to freenomvideo.tk. So if we go into Minecraft, hit refresh, the last server should now be available. That's awkward. Okay, I've waited like 30 seconds. I'm getting impatient. We're going to press refresh again. There she is. We've got them all working. Oh, what's going on with our IP address? Oh, we can still connect. It's just... There she is. All of them are loading. You know, it's having a bit of trouble loading all of these things. You know, it's... It, we can still connect to it. See, we can connect to all of them. Um, so we now have successfully um, made all of these work. We've got the default, uh, just the numbers that we had at the start of the video before anything happened. We've now got freenom.tk and then the port. Play.freenom.tk and just freenom.tk without anything else. And that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, YouTube video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And if you have any issues whatsoever, just make sure to comment them down below in the description. I'll be happy to help out. It's quite a confusing one. Actually, when I was setting up my play.bingomc.tk the first time, I actually had a lot of issues. So there's a lot of issues that you could possibly have from anything from spelling errors to skipping a part of the video. If, if, if you skipped a part of the video and you're getting it wrong, just go back, watch the whole entire video again. I guarantee you missed something because it's a very confusing topic um, but if you do have any issues just leave them in the comment section down below I'm going to be replying to every single one of you guys um, anyways guys uh, we'll see you back next Tuesday for another plugin video um, once again smash the like button uh, this video was sponsored by Singoda and Revive Node um, see ya bye